Hey there, here's an article uh, that came out on August 18th entitled, uh, How Much Is $100 Really Worth in Every State? And this article here was posted on Washington Post, and it actually has a breakdown from the Tax Foundation of which um, they did a study that kind of broke down state by state what, um, how much an actual $100 bill will purchase. And so I thought it was interesting that, you know, Here's a graph right here. Um, if you look at the relative value of $100, meaning how much can actually purchase, it kind of gives you an idea on average, you know, based upon, based upon a cut, uh, certain goods and services as to what you can actually purchase um, or what it would equate to in dollars as far as those goods are concerned. And of course, um, it says less valuable is the very light blue and the dark goldish is more valuable, which means you can get more um, as far as being able to put some stuff in your basket if you were at, you know, say a Walmart or whatnot. Uh, and so uh, just to look, show here, it looks like, you know, the, t the states that, you know, has the most uh, or the cheapest or the lowest cost of living is predominantly the South in Alabama. And Mississippi, especially, and so the the the, the state where your hundred dollar bill can go the furthest is Mississippi, uh, in first place, and then Arkansas, immediately following with the hundred and fifteen dollars and seventy four cents um, worth of goods on average, and in Arkansas one hundred and fourteen, and so up here in Michigan where I'm at, it's one hundred five, which means it's still it's, you know relatively you know worth something as far as what it can purchase um, if you were to compare it. In, you know, with the same same goods and in, in the grocery cart for per se, um, as other as in other states. But of course, the worst of all is Mr. New York, or New York rather, eighty six dollars and sixty six cents worth of goods in comparison to say Mississippi. So of course, you know, it's it's good to say that your dollar or your hundred dollar bill will go a lot further down south in Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia. In comparison to the New England area, where New York is just crazy expensive, and then you got all these other states over here. You have, you know, Massachusetts, uh, Rhode Island, Connecticut. All those states up there in the New England area are just, you know, crazy expensive, and so the dollar or the hundred dollar bill doesn't go as far. And then, of course, Almighty California. Um, you know, uh, crazy expensive. You know, high income tax. You name it. It's just, you know, out there the cost of living is very high. So basically, what this means is that. A um, hundred dollar bill, as far as what it can actually purchase, it varies around the country. So depending on where you're at, your dollar may go further uh, than others, and then which you know ultimately just you know affects your cost of living, you know, affects your standard of living. Because imagine you know if you have feet in a family and your grocery bill was you know hundred two hundred dollars, um, you know how many every days or a week or whatever, you know if you were in Mississippi, you could probably you know you know have a, you know an extra grocery cart worth of food if need be whereas in say California you know or you know in that area in this New England area you know you're you know you might be limited on as far as how many grocery carts you could fill up you know uh, fill up with a hundred dollars or two hundred dollar bill so I thought this was an interesting article um, I posted one not long ago in regards to um, just the, the, the quality of the hundred dollar bills and in, in comparison to uh, the old hundred dollar bills from years back where they were you know of course more valuable as far as what they could purchase in general but just another little history lesson on you know actually uh, charted here uh, by the tax foundation on how far or how much you can actually get out of a hundred dollar bill in regards to groceries and so uh, I thought it would be interesting uh, to post this I'll leave a link to this article here just so you can see it for yourself but other than that you know how much how much coming a hundred dollar bill really uh, is it really worth in every day in every state? And so, great article from Washington Post. Um, other than that, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you.